Samsung comes with a lot of screen gestures. Such gestures lacks on OnePlus and other Android devices. But we have few awesome developers who gives us the ability to get such gestures on other Android devices. First of all, huge thanks to the developer Flyview for providing an application called Kinscreen. This application lets you control your device screen when it's on or off. It's a normal APK, download it from the description below and it's a free application. But to use all the features of this application, you need to purchase the premium membership of this application. If you guys want to give it a try of premium features, then monthly charges are 45 rupees. And for yearly, it's 180 rupees. And if you want this application forever, then the total charges are 220 rupees. I'm also doing a giveaway of 50 promo codes for lifetime subscription. To participate in the giveaway, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel. After doing all this, follow me on Instagram and drop me a message on Instagram. Promo codes will be given to first 50 users who follows and send me message first on Instagram. After you have installed this application, make sure to calibrate motion detection, which you can do it by going here in the settings, calibrate motion detection and tap on start. It will take around 10 to 11 seconds and make sure to place your phone on the flat surface before calibrating it. Here we are done with calibration. Now let's talk about this application and how does it work. Basically it comes with three screen features. One is turn screen on and the last one is time screen out. After that you have few additional options. And the best part of this application is you can manually set the tilt angle. Now talking about the first one where we have three options under turn screen on. Main options are by covering proximity sensor, by waving over proximity sensor once and by tilting over 45 degree of angle. But that can be changed. And under every category we have subcategories also. Like as we selected to turn on screen by waving over the proximity sensor once. So let me show you this example. I just have to wave my hand over the proximity sensor and the screen turns on. You can also keep few exceptions like I have selected except if tilted under minus 10 degree. And here on the top you can see the angle or the degree of your device. Select by tilting over 45 degree. Here also you can change the degree or the angle. So let me show you an example of this. So let me show you an example of this. Currently you can see angle of my device is 46 or around 47. And whenever I turn off my screen, the device will automatically turns on the screen as soon as it's detect the 45 degree angle and it's a pretty useful feature if you kept your device on the table and when you lift it up the device screen will automatically turn on as soon as it's detect the 45 degree of angle on your device and then we have few options to control the screen on like for example by motion by waving over the proximity sensor and one of my favorite one is while tilted and by default angle is set to 45 to 90 degree you can change this angle depending on your angle of using the device, which you can see on the top. Let me give you an example about it. So right now you can see the device angle is around 40 degree. And when my device screen is about to turn off, I'll tilt the device to 50 or in between 45 to 90 degree. The screen automatically wakes up. So it's a pretty useful feature for those who are more into browsing or reading books on their device. And we also get an option to add applications manually. So when you are using those applications, the device screen won't turn off. And then we have few options of time screen out in which I have kept 10 seconds after covering proximity sensor. So if my device proximity sensor is covered more than 10 seconds, the screen will automatically turn off. And at last we have few additional options in which you can select apply rules on lock screen, allow screen to dim while being on kept on. And then you can also change few settings related to vibration. Here I am using vibrate with screen on for 10 milliseconds. You can also change the time from here. And trust me guys, this is a very useful application. It might drain little bit of extra battery of your device, but I am okay to compromise with such things as it's a very helpful application. And also you can show your support by donating to the developer. So guys, this was a quick look to the application called Ken Screen. Once again, huge thanks to the developer. And what do you guys think about this application? Is it useful or not? Let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.